the new left, the right starting in the late 80s, both attack liberalism. They redefine what they mean by liberalism. Both did. Our country was founded on liberal ideas. Let me remind you of them. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press. Thomas Jefferson once wrote, if I had a choice between government and a free press, I'll take free press. Freedom of religion for all beliefs, separation of church and state, the right to due process and equality under the law. These are liberal ideas. It's not a political party. It's not a form of communism. These are liberal ideas. It's one of the greatest things that civilization ever produced. Liberalism is not progressive. It's not conservative. I remind you, it's the opposite of authoritarianism. Our founding fathers was rebelling against the authoritarianism, the unreasonableness of a monarch. That's what liberalism is. We fought World War II, liberal democracies against the extreme right. The Cold War, liberalism against the extreme left. They both are authoritarian systems that try to brainwash us delusional monkeys for simple answers to the fears of reality. We could only survive with accessible liberal education. What's dangerous? When a group gets frightened, when delusional thinking of fearful, angry people look to a charismatic con artist with authoritarian attacks on liberal values. What's needed? What's the remedy? Affordable liberal education to teach history, political science, sociology, psychology, religion, so we have real respect for different faiths. More awareness of dangerousness of psychopathic leaders. I think that's part of my obligation as a psychoanalyst because we don't know enough about how common this is and how our brains are susceptible to that manipulation. And I'll end up with the virtue of humility. This is a quote from Bertrand Russell. Truth is for the gods. For our, our human point of view, it's an ideal to which, which we can approximate which we can never hope to reach. Don't trust anybody who says, I have the truth. 